So today I am going to be making my Chinese noodle cookies, which are in my cookbook that I put on for Christmas. And these are my favorite because they're just very simple, very easy, they don't take a lot of time, and who doesn't like peanut butter and butterscotch? Okay, so a lot of people don't like butterscotch, but it's one of my favorites. So the first thing that you need to do is melt your butter and peanut butter. My mom always said to use a double boiler, but I never bother for this because it's really simple and quick. And as long as you're paying attention, you're not going to burn anything. So on medium heat, go ahead and start melting your butter. It's going to be half a stick of salted butter and then an entire cup of creamy peanut butter. Trust me on this, you don't want peanuts in it because we're going to be adding texture via the crispy chow mein noodles in a little bit. I'm doing a single batch today. Normally I do two double batches when I'm making candy for my friends, family, coworkers, my husband's coworkers. But since this year, it's just me and my husband and nobody wants COVID cookies. I'm not going to make a ton of these. There's only so much diabetes I can ingest before it really is diabetes. Once your butter and your peanut butter kind of smooth out, you're going to add your butterscotch chips. That's two cups of butterscotch chips. The annoying thing is the bag of butterscotch chips is just under two cups worth, so you have to buy two bags which is a constant annoyance for me, but hey, you'll have extra butterscotch chips that you can use in something. And just keep stirring, make sure that nothing burns or sticks. Now, while all this is melting, if you haven't already, you can go ahead and prepare cookie sheets with some wax paper. I already got mine done. I don't ever remember how many I'm going to need, so I just did three. Uh, but when I do the multiple batches, I usually use every single flat surface that I have in my kitchen. So cutting boards, cooking sheets, baking pans, pizza pans, anything and everything, just because it takes up space. You'll also want to make sure that you have some room in your refrigerator so that you have a place for these to harden before you try and put them away. Also, while they're drying before you put them in the refrigerator to harden, you want to make sure that you have some spaces that are, well, pet free. Because, well, animals do love some peanut butter. Um, however, I do not love cat fur on my cookies, so I have some places that they can't get to for the benefit of everyone, including myself. And this is what it looks like while it's melting. You just want to make sure that you stir this pretty regularly so that nothing sticks. I know it looks so disgusting, doesn't it? Don't worry, it's delicious. Once you have everything melted down, you have a choice to make. Now, you can add the marshmallows now if you want to have them fully blended in, or you can wait until after you add the Chinese noodles or chow mein noodles um, if you would prefer to have globs of marshmallow. I personally do not want to have globs of marshmallow. I'd rather have it a little more blended in. Um, some people disagree with me. They can be wrong. And then once you have the marshmallows in there, you don't have to have them fully blended just yet because these are gonna sit on some heat for a minute. So go ahead and dump in two cups of Chinese noodles. It's the crunchy chow mein. Um, and you're gonna stir this in real quickly and you're gonna take this off of the heat. So once you take it off the heat, you're gonna have a limited amount of time to work. So, got my cookie sheets, got my pot of delicious, mixing that in really well, and then here's why I freaking love these cookies. 
I'm just going to take two spoons and drop these puppies directly onto your wax paper prepared cookie sheets. They don't have to be pretty. They won't be. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be any particular size. They just have to be dropped. Like cat yak. Not gonna lie, they're not pretty. And as you fill these, just set them aside. You can't really worry too much about making sure that they get into the refrigerator or out of the way because the longer this sits without the heat, the more it's gonna start hardening. And you don't want a giant glop of these things hardening together. Make sure that you kind of press them together so that once they do solidify, they are more or less one piece and they don't try and fall apart on you. Uh, that's definitely a concern <laughs> considering how loose those chow mein noodles make them. It's really the butterscotch and the marshmallow that holds everything together. And that's it. You're going to let these sit um, and cool down until the bottom of the pan is no longer hot before you put them in the refrigerator or freezer. But honestly, you're done. So for the single batch, that was really enough to cover uh, three smaller cookie sheets. Uh, mental note made, if I ever make a single batch ever again. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, but enjoy. Again, remember, people are going to think these look disgusting. I've usually had to force people to eat them before they realize how delicious they are. But these really do taste really good. I mean, it's peanut butter, it's butterscotch, it's marshmallow. And having the chow mein noodles in there adds that extra layer of salt and crunch that really kind of takes it from being something that is overwhelmingly sweet to something that you're probably going to want to eat like four or five of in a sitting. Or maybe that's just me. The cookbook is available on my website as a PDF download if you'd like to get these made before Christmas or on Christmas. However, if you would like to have the printed book, it's available on Blurb. There are links on my website at www.ericadeanlamphoto.com forward slash shop 